Hey, good morning, Ed Ballou here with Aquascape, and I'm gonna to talk to you today about wetland filtration. I'm standing right in the middle of the wetland filter that we built on our signature water feature right here at Aqualand. The way these things are designed is exactly like Mother Nature. Wetlands are considered the kidneys of the earth. If you're familiar with human biology and physiology, you know that kidneys actually filter toxins out of your blood. So wetlands, therefore, filter toxins out of the lifeblood of the earth, which is water. So what we want to do whenever we're thinking about a wetland filter, we're looking for pristine water quality. We want to deal with dirty water situations, high fish loads. If you have a recreational style pond where people are going to be getting in and out of the water, you're looking for good water quality. That's what this is designed for. This one right here is over 40 feet long. The way it's actually designed is really, really simple. We have a couple key components. The main component of it is our snorkel and centipede modules. What this is, it's a long structure that goes down at the very bottom of the wetland. This wetland is actually over four feet deep. We have high velocity water that is discharged on the very bottom of the wetland. The key to this is slowing the water velocity down. So what we have is a 93% reduction in water velocity. We wanna slow the water down, let the sediments fall into the bottom, then we could easily remove them. So our snorkel vault actually has an access lid located easily along the edge, basically like a sump pit. All the sediments and everything are gonna accumulate down in the bottom. So what we recommend is at least a yearly cleaning, but it depends upon the application. So once we have this unit in place, we have our centipedes going out, the modular nature of the centipedes, they come in six foot sections, we could easily add on depending upon the volume of water that we want to filter. The water then flows up to a layer of our aqua blocks. So we're going to have a small layer of the aqua blocks across the entire bottom of the wetland. Then we put in many, many tons of gravel on top. But the key to this part is not just dumping miscellaneous gravel. We're going to go specific grades. What you can see here on the top is actually a smaller grade of gravel. So this is like a three-quarter minus. We don't want this on the very bottom because it can potentially get clogged up with fine sediments. So what we're going to do first, once we have our layer of aqua blocks in place, spreading the water out, we're going to put a layer of two to three inch rock. So we have bigger stone to channel that water evenly across the entire bottom. Then we go to a layer of inch and a half to two inch gravel. Then we top it off with the three quarter minus. So we have three distinct layers of that gravel. Dirty water comes in, flows up through all these gravel layers, and then we're gonna place aquatic plants inside of it directly into the gravel layer. All the roots are gonna extend down into that gravel layer. They're gonna further remove nutrients that are gonna build up inside of the wetland. So this entire filter is a living ecosystem. So we have all different types of microorganisms living inside of here. Some of them we're adding, the bacterias, that's the bottom of the food chain. They're gonna break down all the nitrogenous waste that builds up inside of the pond from fish waste, decomposing leaves, algaes, and things like that. So as they break down, we're gonna be creating these plant foods that are gonna help give us this lush growth from our aquatic plantings, and then come all the little microorganisms. They're gonna feed on all the detritus, they're gonna feed on the bacterias, and it rounds out that ecosystem. Because it's a living system, it requires oxygen. We're forcing high dissolved oxygen down into the bottom through our pumping system, but as that water flows up through the different layers of gravel, the oxygen actually gets stripped out of the water column and that's because of the biological activity that's located inside of the wetland filter. The way we reintroduce the oxygen is we have a simple flowing waterfall coming back in. Doesn't need to be anything large, but we wanna make sure that we create a rippling action on the surface. This is gonna reintroduce that dissolved oxygen into the water, and this is very important whenever you're talking about water quality. We wanna make sure that high dissolved oxygen levels are going all the way through all the different layers located inside of our ponds. The bigger the pond system that we have, the bigger the wetland filter. It's plain and simple. The dirtier the water, the bigger the wetland filter. If you're looking for pristine water quality, we could custom design these to fit any application. 